By now, you've likely seen the body cam video, which prosecutors say is the key to the murder indictment of Tenzing. Tonight, WLWT News 5 investigative reporter Todd Dykes is taking you through the critical portion, frame by frame, to see how the situation unfolded. We want to warn you that this is the original, unedited cruiser cam video. It is very graphic and disturbing, but we believe it shows. Uh, very important aspects of this case that we would like you to see. Now let's get to Todd with a closer look. Todd, good evening. Yeah, Mark, good evening to you. If you've seen the video, you know what started as a simple traffic stop ended in tragedy in just a matter of seconds. But when you slow it down, the video reveals even more. Well, until I can figure out if you have a license or not, go ahead and take your seatbelt off for me. Eight yeah. seconds after Sam DuBose told former UC police officer Ray Tenzing he hadn't done anything, he was dead, killed by a bullet from Tenzing's gun. Well, things do happen quickly, but you don't have the right to kill somebody for, for a, a license plate violation. Just Defense attorney Harry Hellings was once a prosecutor in Kenton County. When I saw the video, of course, you know, it became very difficult to believe that the police officer told the truth. I showed Ellings the video again, frame by frame. Keep in mind, Tenzing told officers at the scene he shot DuBose because he said, quote, he was being dragged from the vehicle and had to fire his weapon. This shot, taken two seconds after DuBose responded to Officer Tenzing, shows DuBose starting his car. Commotion ensues, but here's a shot which could be critical in court. Look through the passenger window of DuBose's car and you'll see a parked vehicle. Approximately one second later now, you can see Tenzing's hand grabbing DuBose's seatbelt, and this is where the fatal shot is fired. Fired. Now a half second later, DuBose slumps to the side. Look closely and you'll see what appears to be the same vehicle in the same driveway, suggesting DuBose's car had not moved yet. The first indication of the car's movement comes in these video frames, taken about a second after the deadly shot was fired. If a jury agrees with that scenario, it would refute Tenzing's claim he was dragged by DuBose's car and then fired his gun. There are ways to defend this case other than saying that it didn't happen, because it did happen. You can't defend this on the theory that it did not happen. Well, Helling says don't be surprised if the defense pushes for voluntary manslaughter. The legal argument would be to say that Tenzing was enraged when DuBose didn't take his seatbelt off. Voluntary manslaughter is 3 to 11 years in prison. Murder is 15 to life. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.